your oldest client, and I mean that in so many ways, because I think you guys have been working together since he was about 14, and he's about 63 now, and he just signed another year to play for the Minnesota Wild, Mark andre Fleury. What's the scoop? He was, uh, uh, we, we've had numerous discussions over the course of the season about uh, the future, and uh, about two, three weeks ago, uh, Mark and I were having dinner and he said, you know, I could, uh, I could play another year. And I said, yes, you could. He says, you, uh, think they, uh, you think they want me? I said, I think they do. He says, well, he says, I don't, I wouldn't play anywhere else because I wouldn't move the family again anywhere. He says, but, uh, the, the girls and the kids really like Minnie um Vero my wife really likes Minnie and we'd all be happy to stay here one more year um maybe uh you can give Billy a call and see if there's uh any interest and uh I gave Bill Garrett a call and he's like absolutely we'd love to have him back and that's sort of when the ball got rolling and we put this deal together in the last couple of days at this point, it's really not about money, is it? It, it really isn't. I mean, he, this is just going to be his 21st year in the NHL. He's second all-time. Let's be uh, honest. He's made a lot of money in his career. Right. He, he just loves to play. Yeah, I get he it. He just loves to play. He loves to come to the rink. He loves to be around the guys. He's become, well, it's no surprise, but he's a leader and he's so well respected and revered wherever he goes. I think he's a tremendous asset for any organization, especially with young guys, young goalies um, in the in the room, the practice habits, the way he takes care of himself. He's just a model of what you want to hold up as to to aspire to. Yeah. He Fascinating, was, uh, Alan, because I, I, I think there's probably a little disappointment in Pittsburgh right now because, you know, that's where he cut his teeth. That's where he won championships. Um, and if he was to play another year, I think there's lots of people that thought he would go back to Pittsburgh to play. But as a guy who lived in Minnesota, I, I know how special the place is. It's the one place that my wife and I have lived that she would move back tomorrow because of the people and the community um, and the lifestyle. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but there was a time a few years ago when it came very close to to Mark going back to Pittsburgh and having a return. And uh, it it kind of fell through when when Jim left Pittsburgh. Um, but there were some wheels in motion to to try to bring him back. Right. What was his relationship like with Vegas? Because he was the franchise at the beginning. He was the guy everybody looked at. And they had such a great first year with him and goal. Was he uh, was he fond of Vegas? Um, Bob, he loved Vegas. Uh, it, it was unlike anything I had ever seen before in sports the entire city i would fly into vegas and the taxi drivers would be talking about flurry the statue of liberty on the strip was wearing a flurry jersey yeah i um, know every jersey in the rink was literally a flurry jersey um he it, it was almost like like a cult 